everything you have done and been through is valuable and important. In order to be who you are, to know what you know, to be where you are in this moment, you needed to go through what you went through. No matter what is going on in your life today, remember, it is only preparation. People come and go, situations rise and fall, it's all preparation for better things. You must stretch, reach, grow into your goodness. Without the preparation we receive through adversity, disappointment, confusion, or pain, we could not appreciate the goodness when it arrives. The journey into self-love and self-acceptance must begin with self-examination. Until you take the journey of self-reflection, it is almost impossible to grow or learn in life. You have to meet people where they are, and sometimes you have to leave them there. Each of us face a moment in our lives called the breakdown moment. This is the time when you must stand toe to toe, eyeball to eyeball, with the very thing you have tried desperately to avoid. In that moment, when there is nothing standing between you and the thing you fear the most, you will be forced to step into your greatness, because that is what life is demanding of you. If you really want to live your life to the fullest and realize your greatest potential, you must be willing to run the risk of making some people mad. People may not like what you do, people may not like how you do it, but these people are not living your life. You are. If you should encounter angry or unkind actions today, take a deep breath, reach deep within and greet the lack of love with love. Your willingness to look at your darkness is what empowers you to change. Every day is your day if you claim it. If you wait for somebody else to make it for you, you're going to be disappointed. When you can tell the story and it doesn't bring up any pain, you know it is healed. The highest form of praise you can offer to yourself, to God and to the world is to spend time each day expressing gratitude. It says to God that you are aware and appreciative of grace. It says to life that you are acknowledging its awesome presence in you. It says to yourself that you are worth the time it takes to be healed. Time spent in silence, contemplation, and gratitude is time spent in devotion to a higher calling and a more loving state of being. Forgiveness is a process of giving up the old for something new. Old experiences and memories that we hold on to in anger, resentment, shame, or guilt cloud our spirit mind. The truth is, everything that has happened had to happen. It was a growth experience. There was something you needed to know or learn. If you stay angry, hurt, afraid, ashamed, or guilty, you miss the lesson. You will be stuck in a cloud of pain. The only thing that goes on in your life is what you're allowed to go on in your life. Nothing destroys self-worth, self-acceptance, and self-love faster than denying what you feel. Without feelings, you would not know where you are in life. Nor would you know what areas you need to work on. Honor your feelings. Allow yourself to feel them. Your greatest adversary is also your greatest teacher. Like it or not, it is the job of certain people to bring out the worst in you. What they trigger is already in you. They are here to reveal the sore, tender wounded places in your heart and mind, and they are providing you with a wonderful and divine opportunity for healing. It's important that we share our experiences with other people. Your story will heal you and your story will heal somebody else. When you tell your story, you free yourself and give other people permission to acknowledge their own story. When the time comes for you to make a change or to grow, the universe will make you so uncomfortable you will eventually have no choice. You cannot make your life move faster than it's moving. No matter how urgent your situation may seem to be, things are going to happen when they happen, not a minute sooner. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. Be patient with life. Patience always pays off. Gratitude is like a magnet, the more grateful you are, the more you will receive to be grateful for. 
You can accept or reject the way you are treated by other people, but until you heal the wounds of your past, you will continue to bleed. You can bandage the bleeding with food, with alcohol, with drugs, with work, with cigarettes, with sex, but eventually, it will all lose through and stain your life. You must find the strength to open the wounds, stick your hands inside, pull out the core of the pain that is holding you in your past, the memories, and make peace with them. Release and detach from every person, every circumstance, every condition, and every situation that no longer serves a divine purpose in your life. All things have a season, and all seasons must come to an end. Choose a new season, filled with purposeful thoughts and activities. Are you aware that your spirit needs to be fed? Did you know that your spirit would be delighted to partake in a feast of spiritual food? How about a plate full of prayer? Or maybe a few hours of succulent self-reflection? Perhaps a piping hot selection of spiritual literature, served by the side of a lake or under a tree, would satisfy your spiritual hunger. Can you imagine feasting for a few hours on spiritually uplifting music? What about some forgiveness a la mode, topped with compassion? You cannot imagine how much your spirit would enjoy it. Self-worth is an understanding on the intellectual level, trusting at the heart level, and accepting at the soul level that you are worthy just because you believe that you are. Your worthiness is proven by your existence, your breathing, the beating of your heart. Your mere presence is all that is needed to establish your worth. If someone has offended you, insulted you, or disappointed you, let it go. If you are remembering all the ways you have been hurt or forgotten, let it go. Ask yourself, what good does it do for me to hold on to this? No storm can last forever. It will never rain 365 days consecutively. Keep in mind that trouble comes to pass, not to stay. Don't worry. No storm, not even the one in your life, can last forever. One of the greatest challenges in creating a joyful, peaceful and abundant life is taking responsibility for what you do and how you do it. As long as you can blame someone else, be angry with someone else, point the finger at someone else, you are not taking responsibility for your life. Stop hiding. Stop holding yourself back and playing yourself down. Stop worrying about how you look and what people are saying. Stop listening to what people are saying and trying to find out if they are whispering about you. Stop waiting for someone to tell you that you are okay or to make you feel special. Life is special. It is a special gift. This is your life. Now take your gift and live it out in the open. Decide today that you are going to live out loud. Listen for the instruction, instead of begging for the direction. When was the last time you thanked you for always being there for you? Self-appreciation soothes an aching soul. Speak and live in simple sentences. Bring closure put a period to those experiences that you don't want to carry on forever and ever. Use commas in those places where you're still growing. And use exclamation points at the end of every lesson. When we have peace in our hearts and minds, we draw peace into our lives. Before you find out who you are, you have to figure out who you aren't. You are the love you seek. You are the companionship you desire. You are your own completion, your own wholeness. You are your best friend, your confidant. You are, as poetess Audre Lorde wrote, the one that you are looking for. You are the only one who can do what you are looking for someone else to do. Affirm, I now willingly release all negative beliefs about myself, my life, and all other people. I now forgive myself for thinking I ever did anything wrong. I am now filled with the love and the power that I am. For this I am so grateful. And so, it is. It takes a lot more courage to let something go than it does to hang on to it, trying to make it better. 
Letting go doesn't mean ignoring a situation. Letting go means accepting what is, exactly as it is, without fear, resistance, or a struggle for control. Life doesn't actually knock you down. It does, however, provide you with many opportunities to evaluate your standing in life, what you stand on, what you stand for, how you stand within yourself and for yourself. When you don't show up as who you are, people fall in love with who you're not. Then when they find out who you are, that's when they leave. Challenges come so we can grow and be prepared for things we are not equipped to handle now. You can direct the outcome of any situation you face through the power of thought. Keep your thoughts focused on the best possible outcome for everyone involved and never allow yourself to be pushed where you don't choose to be. Crying purifies and cleanses. I once read about a scientific experiment which demonstrated that there are 38 toxic chemicals in a tear of sadness, while only one toxin exists in a tear of joy. As you cry in sadness, fear, or confusion, you cleanse the body and spirit of toxins which cloud the mind and prevent it from accepting the truth. Be patient with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Know that all things are working in your favor. If you take one step toward the light of spirit, spirit will take five steps on your behalf. Everything happens when it needs to happen, everyone is always where they need to be. You will never miss out on what is meant for you, even if it has to come to you in a roundabout way. Sitting alone, listening to the sound of your breath, the beating of your heart is a reminder that you are sacred and blessed. Criticism does not make you smarter or better than the one you are criticizing. In fact, the stuff you are critical of in others is the same stuff you don't like about yourself. We set the standard of how we want to be treated. Our relationships are reflections of the relationships we have with ourselves. Everything we experience no matter how unpleasant comes into our lives to teach us something. Life will let you get away with something for a while, but sooner or later, you will pay the price. Everything you do in life causes the effects that you experience. When you get the bill, be prepared to pay. Love people enough to tell them the truth and respect them enough to trust that they can handle it. You must earn what you have. Life does not give you anything. You must give in order to get. You must stand up to the very thing that challenges you, look it in the face, get clear about your intention, order your thoughts and your life, and proceed without fear or hesitation. Life is not unfair. Along the way, you will always find bits of information and support to guide you to purpose. Change doesn't have to be hard, and healing doesn't have to hurt. Surely by now you know that everything happens for a reason. There is something better awaiting you on the other side of this. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.